Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths. For those of you who are new to my channel, I would like to tell you that this channel is specifically dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I publish a new video. Also, don't forget to share these videos with whom you think it might be very, very useful. So students, today I'm taking a topic which is called as how to add without a carry. The reason for taking this topic are two. One, there was a special request by one of my subscribers who left a comment on one of my videos saying that he needed tricks for doing addition and subtraction faster. And also as a tutor, I have realized that Doing addition without a carry is something which normally most of my students are not aware of. So I decided let me just make a video for it. So now students in order to understand this trick, I would start with addition of just two digit numbers. Initially for you all to get the hang of my trick, I will start with numbers which do not need a carry. Okay, so let's start by adding 32 plus 16. Okay, students. Now, understand in your normal addition, you start with the units place. Okay, so that goes about 2 plus 6. You add, write the answer and then you write 3 plus 1. Then you write the answer besides it. But using my trick, you will directly come to the answer. That is because instead of starting from the units place or rather from the right hand side, we will start from the left hand side. Okay. So here the left hand side digits are in the tens place. So can I say that this digit over here is three, which is representing the tens place for this number. So I can say this is 30 and I'm adding that to the next digit, which is also in the tens place of my next number, which is 10. So 30 plus 10, that gives me 40. Now, students, you have to directly add the rest of the two numbers, which are in the units place as well. Means here we got 30 plus 10, that is 40, plus 2, that gets you 42, plus 6. So now understand, students, when you have to add 42, plus 6 you can do this addition through your fingers or you can directly do it in your mind so as we know 42 plus 6 which gets me 48 so now students i hope you've realized using this method you directly come to the answer instead of doing the addition of units place first and then the addition of your tens place okay let's try another example let's add 21 plus 47. So now first we will start from the right hand side means you will add the tens digits that is adding 20 plus 40. 20 plus 40 gives us 60 plus 1 gives us 61 plus 7 gives us 68. So students I hope now you've got the hang of this method. Let's just quickly do this for one more simple sum and then we will shift to sums which will involve a carry. Okay. So now let's add 42 plus 52. So here we'll again start with the right hand side. That means you're adding the 40s and the 50s. So 40 plus 50 that gets you 90 plus 2 gets you 92 and plus 2 more to 92 gets you 94. So students, I hope you've understood this trick. Now let's try using this trick with numbers which will have a carry. Okay, so let's start by adding 24 plus 18. Now students, over here also we are going to stick to the same method. So first you will add 20 plus the 10 that gets you 20 plus 10 that gets you 30 
plus 4 gets you 34 and when you add 8 to 34 you get 42. So students I hope you've realized using this method you really didn't have to bother about the carry because you were simply directly going to your direct answer. Okay so let's see another example 36 plus 58. So now again we will start by adding the tens digits which is 30 plus 50 which is 80 plus 6 gets you 86 plus 8 gets you 94. So students in this way you can do the addition of any numbers without actually bo bothering about the carry. Now let's see what will happen when you add more than two numbers in this kind of a scenario. So let's take 23, 16, 41, 41 and 17 as your numbers to be added. So using our trick we'll again start from the tens digit. So 20 plus 10 gets you 30 plus 40 gets you 70 plus 10 gets you 80. Now you will add 80 plus 3 that is 83 plus 6 which gets you 89 plus 1 which gets you 90 and plus 7 that gets you 97. So students this trick is actually very useful when you are attempting entrances because in most of the entrances you will need answers which are rounded off okay so in that case you really don't have to bother about actually going through the whole process of addition using a carry this can be done without wasting too much of time now students this we have seen for two digit numbers now let's see what will happen when you are adding three digit numbers Here also we will start with by taking examples which do not involve a carry at the beginning. So let's say 234 plus 162. Now students when you have to add the trick which I told you is you start from your right hand side. Here while adding my right hand side was the numbers which were in tens place. But for three digit numbers we will start with the numbers which are in the hundreds place. So 200 plus 100 that gets you 300 plus again this is in which place tens place. So 300 plus 30 that gets me 330 plus 60 gets me 390 plus 4 gets me 394 plus 2 gets me 396. Students, one very very important thing to understand is you have to keep saying the whole number. You should not do addition of 200 plus 100 is 3 and then you add 30 plus 60 which is 90 and you keep it different. You have to always say 200 plus 100 is 300 plus 30 is getting you 330 plus 60 gets you 390 so on and so forth because in case of numbers which will be having carry this method will work perfectly fine but if you ju just add the hundreds and the tens and the units place then it will not work so please understand this golden rule of saying the whole numbers while adding okay now let's take another example 321 plus 430 so here we'll again start with the right hand side so 300 plus 400 gets me 700 plus 20 gets you 720 plus 30 gets you 750 plus 1 gets you 751 and plus 2 to 751 gets you 753 okay now let's see for another example 763 plus 214 so again 700 plus 200 gets you 900 
plus 60 gets you 960, plus 10 gets you 970, plus 3 gets you 973, and plus 4 to 973 gets you 977. Students, these tricks look very, very easy, but in order to get a hang of these tricks, I would request all of you all to practice at least 10 to 20 sums of all of these kinds. And if you want me to make those kind of questionnaires along with answers for you all, then you can please comment down or hit the like button so that I know that you want me to make a questionnaire about that. And I will quickly start making those questionnaires and put it up online for you all. Now, let's start by adding three digit numbers which have a carry. So we'll add 345 plus 117. So let's say what do we get 300 plus 100 gets you 400 plus 40 gets you 440 plus 10 gets you 450 plus 5 gets you 455 plus 7 gets you 462. Now, let's try another example. 664 when added to 127. So, 600 plus 100 gets you 700, plus 60 gets you 760, plus 20 gets you 780, plus 4 gets you 784, plus 7 gets you 791. Now students, here we saw these sums are having a carry on the units place. Now let's see what happens when you do an addition of three digit numbers which have a carry on the tens place. So let's take 264 plus 394. So here 200 plus 300 gets you 500, plus 60 gets you 560, plus 90 gets you 650, plus 4 gets you 654, plus another 4 gets you 658. So now students, as you can see, this trick works for all kinds of addition. Now, let's see what happens when you add 3 or more 3 digit numbers. So 213, then let's say 156, then 321, and 137. Let's try adding all of them. So 200 plus 100 gets you 300, plus 300 gets you 600, plus 100 gets you 700. Then plus 10 gets you 710, plus 50 gets you 760, plus 20 gets you 780, plus 30 gets you 810 plus 3 gets you 813 plus 6 gets you 819 plus 1 gets you 820 and plus 7 gets you 827. So students in this way you saw that how you can do addition without worrying about the carry. So please do go ahead and like and subscribe and also share these videos to whoever you think it might be useful. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.